So now we'll look what is regression analysis and where and how it is used. Okay. Now what is regression analysis? Now regression analysis is basically a mathematical tool which is used to find out a relation between two variables. Okay. For example, if you look at this table, this table gives you uh, the amount of fertilizer which is used and what is the yield we get from the farm. Okay. So if we use 30 kgs of the fertilizers, the yield which we get is 4300 kgs. Okay. Now suppose if we need to predict what would be the yield if I use 100 kgs of the fertilizers. So this table does not contain that data. But by predicting the relation between the fertilizer used and the yield, we can find out what would be the yield if 100 kgs of fertilizers is used. Okay. This prediction can be found out using regression analysis. Okay. Now regression analysis can be of different types. It can be a linear regression equation. Okay. The equation between two variables can be linear or it can be quadratic and so on. Okay. But in this we are just concerned with a linear relation. Now let us see how do you find out the relation between two variables. Fertilizers can be taken, the variable for the fertilizers can be taken as x and the variable for the yield can be taken as y. So we need to extend this table to x square, we have to square the values of the fertilizers and x into y. Okay. Now once we square the values of x, we take multiply x and y, we can take their total. Okay. So first thing we need to find out is the covariance between the variables x and y. Okay. The formula is simple that is 1 by n summation of xy minus x bar into y bar. So we will get the covariance between x and y. Then once you have done with the covariance, we need to find out the standard deviation of x. Now the stand formula for the standard deviation, okay, it is root of 1 by n summation of xy minus x bar square. So we need to substitute the values which we know from the table and we will get the standard deviation of x. Now once we know what is the standard deviation and the covariance, we can find out the regression coefficient of y on x. Now we are finding the regression coefficient of y on x only because we need to predict the values of y which depend upon the values of x. Okay? We need to predict what is the yield when we know what is the fertilizer we used. Okay? So by this formula, by the division of covariance and, and the standard deviation, we will get what is the regression coefficient. Okay. Now, the linear regression equation is given by the formula y is equal to a plus b into x, okay, where b is the regression coefficient which we have already found out. Now, how do you find out a? a is given by y bar minus b y x into x bar. x bar and y bar are the means of x and y which we already know. So, we can substitute, we will find out a. Once we know the value of a and b, we can find out the regression equation. Okay? So the regression equation comes out to be y is equal to the value of a 31.4 plus 0.38x. Okay? So this is a regression equation, linear regression equation. Now by this equation we can predict the values of y that is the yield if we know the values of x. For example, if I need to find out what is the yield which I will get if I use 100 kgs of fertilizers per acre. So I will substitute x equal to 100, I will get the value of yield which is required. Uh, exactly in the same way we can find out the regression equation of x and y. Suppose if, uh, if my question is that I need 70 kgs of yield, so what should be the amount of fertilizer should I use? Okay. So if I know the values of y then and if we have to predict the values of x, that can be found out by the regression equation of x on y. Okay. Now exactly in the same way, just as we made this table, this table which contained x square and xy, we need to make the table of y square and xy. Okay. And we will find out the same quantities. We need to find out the covariance of xy which is already known, that won't change. Then we need to find out B X Y. Okay? The formula changes accordingly and then we can find out the regression equation of X on Y. By this equation we can predict the values of X which depend upon Y.